Here we are. This is Gorilla and uh, Ryan Soto. And we how's are, it going, guys? We're going to be looking through uh, the participants from the last maker, the Doomsday competition that just ended, and we're about to move into the actual voting. So uh, Ryan and I were thinking it'd be fun to uh, go through all of the participants and look at their entries and uh, give you a little background on some of them and just kind of give you a chance to decide who you're going to be rooting for in the next couple of weeks. A lot of amazing pieces this year. All right. So a lot of take, bases too. Oh yeah. Let's take a look at the first one. Actually, uh, this is one of our first uh, major bases. They're, this, you know, we always say that it steps up a game, but, uh, but this year definitely bases have been a, a pretty big factor um, in what people did. And so this is a uh, studio Bahia and, uh, and it looks like he's done some kind of Monkey King piece, has some really intricate hair work, and uh, and and it looks like he's standing on a, a base uh, with a a tree and um, a body tied up. <laughs> All right, so uh, so this piece is uh, I am Austin Arts, and uh, Ryan, this is this is his first uh, first time competing, correct? I don't think, oh, actually, under this name, yes. Uh, last year, he, I believe, he uh, competed under the Corroded Lens page. Oh, okay. He made that uh, the bull or minotaur character. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And so uh, <laughs> he decided, looks like he's going with a, a tank girl uh, inspired by uh, Brett Parsons' artwork. Um, this is an interesting piece. He added, in order to uh, make the competition, he added a robotic arm in there. Really nice sculpt. Mm -hmm. Some great really medium. well done. Yeah. Yeah. Fun colors too. Uh, you know, skin tone, I, I always have a hard time hitting that skin tone. It looks like he did a, a really good job. Absolutely. Especially with that black eye too. I love that. Yeah. All right. So uh, this was an interesting piece. This, I, I, I think this may be one of the first white cells we've seen that uh, that's articulated. It's actually, I, yeah, absolutely. This is definitely a game changer. Um, yeah, and if you if you guys get a chance, uh, go over to his website because you know he it looks like from what I could tell, he uh, made a mold of the of the white cell three male, and um, and then he he used that mold to create his skeleton for his um, I guess this is a stop animation articulated skeleton. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But he yeah. made the, I think he made it from scratch. Um. Completely fabricated using metal and welding. That was, that was really cool. Yeah, I don't think I've seen anybody do anything with, uh, I mean, little bits of metal, but not like the whole piece out of metal. So that, yeah. was, that was kind of an interesting <laughs> twist. All right. Watch so at, go ahead. Sorry, Ryan. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is Palm Freak uh, 65, and uh, he's got a definite like throwback to um, maybe the uh, Master Blaster helmet from uh, <laughs> from mad max i love the the pork belt that was a nice touch and again another base these bases are just awesome it's been interesting Plenty of victims oh yeah it's been interesting because you got you know looking at all the pictures it's not even about just your piece anymore it's like fitting your piece into an environment has uh, really kind of been a, a really yeah that background picture totally just makes it yeah great job all right, so we got what you what you up to, and uh, he took a really interesting twist on on the theme. Uh, Statue on the of current Liberty, events, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Statue of Liberty. Um, she's going out to kick some ass. Looks like uh, I I love the fact that um, I loved watching him build this because it was so much reference. You know, like he's one of the and it's, and it's funny too that the the pictures he turned in. It was. It wasn't just like this is my piece. It was like here's my whole story. Uh, yeah. Comic book pages, some of its concept art, uh, inspiration. It was like this whole piece was about the story um, of the Statue of Liberty coming to life and and heading out to uh, wreak some havoc. Save so, us all, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> loved it. <laughs> all right. Um, so uh, this is uh, Guaca. <laughs> Gawakto? I don't know. Am I, I'm probably Gawakoto? totally. Koto? Gawakoto. I'm totally butchering that, so I apologize. <laughs> but uh, but this was a really interesting piece that um, 
I love the balance in it. You know, it's a lot of movement. Um, the skin, the skin treatment is just wow. You know? Super well done. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, attention to detail on the weapon on his arm too, and those spikes on his knee pads. Uh, looks like he's running on water too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just so much movement, um, so much detail, and again, the paint job just really takes it over. It really flows. Yeah. Um, this is another great example of a base. Um, so much detail, uh, family party customs, and uh, and there's just you know this is one of those pieces I, I I wish we could just have an art show where you could go and actually look at the piece because yeah you definitely at the, want a 360 view of yeah this. looking at the pictures just is not enough um, you know I, I'm looking at all the trash that that the throne's built of um, kind of has that like apocalyptic game of thrones feel to it yeah um, mr isaac Rus mr isaac rotson aka 88 oh loved it uh, great piece lots of fun detail and you know one of the things i noticed in a lot of the pieces that we're looking at today is uh just the common themes that kind of come together you know like uh the destroyed world um i he this guy's got a hypodermic needle we see that kind of coming into a lot of the pieces this time yeah science um, uh science projects gone wrong <laughs> yeah love it you probably stare at this all day and still not it's, find everything in that yeah. trashy. <laughs> um this was a great piece by uh ernie avello or artist 24 7 24 7 um he's got this kind of fun gladiator a um, lot of good detail to it and i wish you know we try to be fair uh, and we're really, you know, putting up one picture per person because um, we didn't want to give anybody more attention than, than somebody else. But um, this one has a really interesting uh, 360 view because what I thought originally when I first saw it was, um, was part of its gas mask is actually some kind of like octopus, octopus right? Yeah. 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 That's kind of become, taking over the body. Yeah. So that, that was kind of interesting to see a lot of these where they're, <laughs> They're molding two characters into one character to create a new a new theme. That was a great great idea and uh, yeah, nice definitely. execution. Um, elevated art was again one of the first ones I saw um, out there doing a, a base, and he's really kind of uh, done a great job in uh, producing a well executed base. Um, yeah, Lone Ronin. Thing. Lone Ronin. Now, it, it, is this a uh, sword? Do you, th do you think that's an actual? Uh, it looks to me like he's really constructed it using different parts of uh, yeah, different things. Yeah, um, I think the stuff he had around the house, but uh, it's super, super well done. It totally brings that piece, uh, brings that piece together. Yeah, yeah, really nicely done. I love, I love looking at uh, sculptures when you can, you know, you see it and you're like, wow, that's a great looking sword. And then you start to like get into it and you start realizing like, oh, I recognize, you know, this is a saw blade and, and you can start to yeah. <laughs> see all the little details of it being put together. That's, that's always fun to do. Really well, creative. It, yeah. Yeah. And here's another great uh, gladiator by uh, pocket sculpts. And uh, I love the texture and this like metal beard that's going on here. And uh, the color scheme is really nicely done. Paul, the A and U's hyphenated, or uh, I'm sorry. A and U's uh, in parentheses. The chemical element for gold. Oh, nice. So, um, so that's the name of the piece is Paul. Paul, yes. Very good. So that you know, that's kind of a, a fun theme. I I, I really enjoy with uh, plastic cells how much of them lend to like you know play on words or puns and uh, and Definitely, gosh, yeah. <laughs> for all our scientists yeah. in there, it's good, a great great addition of some science knowledge, <laughs> breaking it down for you. Oh, I loved this one. Um, so decent things created uh what was the name of this one ryan uh covid <laughs> covid 37 protest <laughs> oh yeah and i love you know out there protesting he needs that haircut even though he doesn't have much hair going on again that respirator we're seeing that a lot in in this competition um and this one's got some great great details going on in there with the the robotics yeah. and the and the respirator and i love this little sticker type detail um yeah it's definitely almost, he's, uh, the weathered look and uh, he's got a little little writing all over that uh, gas canister too yeah and there's a, a there, i saw a lot of great uh kind of homages to like you know here's almost like a mortal joe themed decal in there so i i've, I've seen that kind of popping up a lot um and so you know those are the fun things you know when when you're out there making these 
for the competition. I love that it, there's like multi levels that we can be looking at. Yeah, definitely uh, throwing in little Easter eggs from a bunch of different, a uh, bunch of different movies. Yeah. Oh, and and uh, this is uh, Chan Lei. And uh, is this is this the first time this artist has uh, participated in the competition here? Uh, no, they actually made the uh, Winter Soldier. Oh, okay. I think that was the first piece they they entered. Um, they've also made the Lord of the Rings characters. Oh, nice. So this this is a beautiful piece. Uh, the movement in this thing just blew me away. Um, yeah, really one, close. Yeah, you almost have to really kind of take a chance and uh, look at all the different angles because um, it's got some beautiful movement. There's some great balance. Um, the base is very nicely done. Um, I love exceptional the, posing. Yeah, so beautiful and. Uh, and hair, you know, hair is always one that you struggle. I struggle with. Yeah, um, definitely, me too. And getting it, getting it to look like that nice, and 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 I even like kind of work with the movement that they've created with this gesture. Uh, this is a great job. Yeah, he challenged himself to incorporate as many anime references without visually overloading the sculpture, oh. and I think he definitely uh, pulled that off. He's got a little bit of uh, apple seed, bleach, demon slayer. Uh, this is definitely definitely a success well and that's that's gonna i think in the end when it comes to voting that always is a bonus uh you know having that fan base can really you know help boost your uh boost your votes uh, yeah people definitely. are voting for a, a great looking sculpture uh, a great execution but also you know you've got that like fan pride that helps you out a, a lot uh this is a one of the ones i think you know we've got one picture here but uh if you get a chance andrew uh lanyard the sculpting chin. You definitely want to check out his page. He's got a lot of uh, details in there. Um, great story too. It's kind of a lot, but definitely you want to check that out. <laughs> yeah, and this one, uh, I believe, uh, under a blue light, ha changes colors. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely neon. Uh, he's got some neon paints in there too. Um, really great attention to detail. Uh, definitely, you can definitely see the story just by looking at this piece. Yeah, and some and some really fun textures. I mean, look at that skin texture. Great stuff, great stuff, and uh, the wings too. Now it looks to me like he's he's cast these wings or carved them out of another material. Do you know anything about that? I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, it looks like a. I mean, it looks maybe clear resin or maybe dyed. Yeah, carved them out, and I'm not really not too sure how you would take that off. Huh? Yeah, great job. Uh, this was one I, I really enjoyed this piece. Um, it 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 definitely took me back to uh, that Thunderdome, Mad Max, and uh, the, <laughs> the idea of Master Blaster. Um, I just love the gesture on this guy riding it. Um, the the uh, the look of his bike. You know, here's a something man. straight out of a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the worst right here with the the tail. I mean, I'm sorry. The uh, that wheel right right in the <laughs> right in the nuggets <laughs> uh, you have a little goblin character that kind of looks like um judge death from judge dread oh yeah yeah, yeah there's a lot of uh fan references i could see in there yeah. um so here we got a far 25 um i i really like the look of this character it makes me want to know a little bit more about uh about what what's his deal um he loves monkeys. Uh, he, he actually has an art page dedicated to his illustrations. <laughs> 25 underscore monkeys. Oh, great nice. illustrator. Um, monkey smashes robot heads for, for parts uh, in order to, to survive. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a great scope. And you know, here's one of those ones where uh, I love the simplicity and, and just the cleanup. I mean, it's a really clean um, piece. A lot of good when it comes to painting. Everything's got a nice edge to it. Yeah, uh, great posing know. too. Yeah, good posing and uh, and a lot of fun little details with the wires and uh, and this kind of helmet thing that he's got going on. This is is one of the I think one of those pieces that came out of nowhere for me. Yeah, uh, another rookie uh, rookie entry. Yeah, knocked did, it out of the park. Absolutely. You know, and all the detail, like this desk. You know, a lot of this is one of those ones where it has some really amazing sculpting. Uh, I liked the face and, and the texture. Yeah, um, I, don't, I can't even imagine how to get that done. <laughs> yeah, and the, but then 
all of the, I imagine the hunting, you know, how, how long it took to, uh, to conceptualize the desk and all of those little things that needed to go on to it. Right. So. Yeah, absolutely. She's probably been, she probably used the full time of the contest. For <laughs> yeah. Just, just on hunting for stuff. And, you know, it's one of those ones, again, here's one I'd love to see the opportunity to uh, see it in the flesh and, and really like, you know, get a 360 view. Yeah. Hunt over all the little objects that are on this desk. Uh, here we go with uh, Kind Nuggets. Uh, this might be, you know, his year. Uh, we'll see. This is a great uh, homage to uh, Ash Williams. Yeah, Evil Dead. Bruce um, Campbell. Smart. It's S smart. That's for sure. Um, a lot of details. Um, it's pages on the floor. The blood marks. Uh, it's got a signature gnome in there. <laughs> yeah, that was to say. That's that was my favorite part. Of, is uh. You know, I wasn't sure when he was casting them and stuff, and the, the gnome popped up. I'm like, oh, okay. And then the, <laughs> to see it actually in the uh, in the piece was nice. That was a nice yeah. touch. All right, art from random. Uh, this Firefly Girl. Oh, this was one of those that uh, really gives me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, I don't <laughs> like these uh, holes in your skin. Uh, just oh you know, yeah, definitely grosses you out. But that's that's what it takes to win this contest. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and so much fun detail, you know, you've got uh, so much that really took in the, the mutated concept to heart. And so it's kind of neat to see all of how that worked together. Uh, here's a, a great piece that was uh, homage to uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. I believe that was the first, first movie. Um, and some, the barnacles, again, just a, those holes in the skin really kind of yeah, get into you. Um, <laughs> but it was interesting, too, to see you know, how they did these, uh, I don't know, it's a, like a puffer fish. So having all the spikes from the puffer fish was a really nice touch on the sculpture. Definitely. And that blade too, that really makes it. Yeah. Pot Apocalypse. Um, this piece was one of the first ones I saw finished. Yeah, um, he knocked this one out quick. I believe the character's name is Diesel. Just coming in from a superhero landing. Oh, nice. So is this an original character then? I believe so. Yes. Uh, Definitely think so. Yeah. And I was really impressed with his uh, paint job. Like, it's funny. I, and I, I don't know, but uh, I could see a lot of, uh, of Warhammer influence in, in his paint job. Like, a lot of those like, oh, yeah. the depth of the colors and, and really well done. Um, I, I think my favorite part of this piece are the, uh, are the pads. Just the soft. The pads, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just the, the soft transitions in here of color. I, I love that. And then that the contrast between the blue and that bright yellow nose. And the yeah, it really sticking. makes the, the, the highlights pop. Yeah, and you know, these are one of the things I really noticed in this competition is how much story uh, people were able to in, kind of build into their characters. It's not like, you know, it'd be really easy to create a Minotaur with perfect horns, but like having all this like damage into the horns really kind of like lets you know that there's a history to this character. Yeah, you definitely um, don't want to mess with this guy. No. Not at all. All right. Um, now, this is one I don't know. Retro Lobo. Um, I don't know if this is an original character or, or if this is, like, uh, built in, but I really... Yeah, I'm actually I, not too sure, too. I know the character's name is Flynn, but uh, I couldn't find much. I, I don't think I could actually find his Instagram profile. Oh, see, and I, I want to know more about this character. Like, I love the textures of this mask. Um, and there's something about this kind of retro michael jackson style jacket yeah, that he's wearing almost like akira yeah <laughs> yeah like i, I want to know more about this character um and what he's up to and uh i like the pose really well done and again yeah, we're colors on that, the face i love that th these bases they're coming in and and i think it, it's not just going to be about like if you're a good sculptor anymore for these competitions it's going to be like uh you have to build the you, whole scene are you a storyteller you know and, yeah. and i love to see that Priscilla, this was another piece that I think just has a story I want to know more about. Um, it's really well done, too. I mean, I, the paint detail is absolutely amazing. The water, too, that's how she made the water kind of wave coming up. That's really yeah. well done. Yeah, and so much texture in her fabrics, like both sculpted texture and then the patterning that she's painted in is it's really beautiful. This is one of those ones, I think, if you guys get a chance, check her out on her instagram um because this is one that needs to be seen in the round i think 
Yeah, you really, definitely want a 360 view of this one. Yeah, and, and to be able to see it, all of the fine detail, like the her, uh, I, don't, I don't want to call it a cummerbund, but the 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 draping around the inside of her of her kimono is really beautiful. Um, and then again, all that texture that's found in the hair. Really a beautiful piece. Again, another great, this is Custom Collectives, and you mentioned uh, this is not uh, their first time uh, competing, right? No, I think their first piece was the uh, Resident Evil character, oh, um, right. Nemesis. Yeah. And again, this is another interesting narrative going on. You've got a lot. Yeah, it's definitely got a story going. Um, definitely want to go over to his page and check it out. Yeah. I, I, I want to know what's going on with this face. Like, I love uh, the tribal markings, but I also want to know, like, what's going on with these eyes. Like, uh, is there a story behind those? Um, and the headdress was really well done too. I was really impressed. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the Harsh Mellow. I believe this is his first competition with us. Dr. Nita Pij Pijanon. Yeah. And again, you're seeing that hypodermic needle, which I was excited um, seeing this, this created. I thought that was a really nice touch. This is one piece that uh, we only have one picture here, but it's something I would definitely check out because the, the mask is detachable, correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, a lot of work went into that. Uh, looks like it fits just perfect. Oh yeah, and those are always hard. Like when you're you're making something <laughs> that that has multiple views and, and multiple ways to be looked at. Um, this is one of those pieces that was done for the competition, but I can definitely see it. Um, you know, people wanting something like this for uh, for either a garage kit because it would be fun to paint. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Or I wouldn't even like to. <laughs> yeah or even just displaying. Um, I liked also the, uh, the haircut was an interesting choice. Um, I, I really thought he did a great job with the stubble. Um, and again, that backpack, um, backpacks and, and accessories are always hard. Um, I think this one definitely impressive. Nailed it, yeah, definitely nailed it. Uh, this is a hood rat attack. Guyver. Yeah, Guyver. Really well done, um, love the armor. Oh, and uh, the paint job too, really clean. Uh, again, using that that fan base definitely will help when it comes time to uh, for the competition and voting because uh, absolutely, yeah, people love to vote for their uh, for their favorites. You know, hope and that goes like, on for sale too. I wouldn't mind picking one of those up. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a fun one to to paint for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, and this is from you said this is from uh, a video game. Yeah, Last of Us, the clicker. Yeah. Really, really scared. <laughs> yeah, and it has such a great gesture, too, um, with those arms. Screaming uh, at you. Yeah, the, the balance on that's really nice, and again, the motion. Yeah, I, I've always struggled, you know. The, it, it took me a long time before I opened up a mouth, um, simply because, you know, dealing with the inside of the mouth is, is, is a difficult thing to do, and I think you did yeah, a great job. Yeah, definitely want to use a long tip point detail brush. Yeah. Or just even getting your sculpting tools in there is always difficult. Yeah. Um, Wolfie Friday, again, this is a beautiful base. Um, trees are difficult. I think that they pulled off really well. Um, it's hard to see in this, uh, in this picture because of all the beautiful texture, but, but this alligator person thing, um, has, it looks like to me has caught a bullet uh, in its mouth. So it's a little kung A lot fu. of detail, really good detail in the, the scales and... Oh, all the different textures and the um and the gesture is beautiful too like i really like that that gesture um very strong um also i think it's interesting when you're looking at at the idea of combining pieces um the fact that uh that that wolfie decided to uh to leave the ears in there was i think a nice touch um, yeah the, and the human eyes too <laughs> yeah it's a really nice way of like pulling in that white cell concept um, into your piece. Yeah, really well done. Now, respect, uh, Respected Destroyer, this was, uh, this was one of the few pieces I saw that uh, added some kind of mechanical element to it. And so, uh, and so this isn't like Photoshop, this is an actual LED light that fits inside the head. Um, so you've got this kind of, both of these got the mouth opened but you also have this <laughs> this glowing element to it, which I thought was really, really looks nice. Yeah, really, really well, well done. done. So, and I, I believe this is his first uh, first time uh, competing with us. So, 
Well, welcome, welcome. Yeah, that's a good first 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 piece. Three um, D hero who's used to uh, he's done a lot of competition, but I believe this is his first one with <laughs> us. Uh, really well done. Uh, I can't even tell where the piece ends and where the background starts. Oh, I know. Yeah, this was uh, this is fun. It really flows. And it, I, you know, one thing I really enjoy looking at his pieces is that um, I don't even need to see his name. I recognize like his style and his his color choices. Oh, yeah. You like definitely his, pick it out out of the lineup, right? Yeah, his paint palettes uh, seem to transition well, but no matter what base he's working on. So this this is going to be a, a fun one to see how it does. Uh, this piece is really beautifully done. <laughs> I love it's actually life size too. <laughs> yeah, I love the uh, the movement. Again, this is another one that this incorporates a lot of that stuff. It's like you've got great balance, great movement. Um, yeah, the perfect base, snapshot. Yeah, the base is great, um, and uh, a lot of fun detail. You know that creating a metal with out metal uh, that's a difficult a difficult yeah, task. Yeah, he nailed it. Absolutely, really well done. Yeah, and and also, I mean, I think it's got some. You know. After seeing the Ninja Turtles that the brothers did, um, the, having that the leather elements attached to it, oh um, yeah, <laughs> always kind of pushes it over for me now. I'm, I'm, what can I make that I can add leather to? Yeah, I definitely want to use real world, uh, real world materials into your pieces. Yeah. Now here was another interesting piece. Uh, this is Baden Arts. I believe this is a white cell um, too. Looking at the the musculature of it. But again, here's one, got rid of the legs, added some really fun reptile elements to it. I love yeah. all the scaling. Uh, a lot and, of detail, a lot of yeah. detail on there. And the color choices were just really well done. Uh, you know, I I always struggle with getting good photographs, you know, and um, sometimes the color choices you make are look great on the sculpt, but getting- You can make or break a piece. Yeah, but getting a good photograph of it is it's difficult. And especially, when you're dealing with something that's that's got a lot of dark in it, this one, yeah, uh, this one he knocked out of the park and uh, and took great great photos of it too. Really close. Yeah, you can see all of that detail, which is is really hard to do. Uh, again, here's a veteran. This is uh, Tiffany. She won last the last competition, um, and again she didn't stop. She stepped her game up. Yeah, uh, her own take on Mega Man. Really well done. Yeah, and again, that base, we're seeing great bases. Uh, this kind of blew my mind a little bit when I first <laughs> I first pulled it up. I was like, whoa. Yeah, it's floating. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and again, taking a good photograph where she was able to uh, kind of disguise the um, the peg that holds it up was a really great. Yeah, it took me a second to even realize what was going on there. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure uh, this is going to be a really sought-after piece when she decides to... Uh, absolutely to make a mold of it so a great job uh this one is going to be the one to beat i think definitely for this uh competition really well done uh, the face and paint job is just spectacular yeah the texture and that skin is just i mean I, I could look at that face for the whole day um and and his and the ability to uh to really kind of hammer in those uh, skin uh, pigment just is impressive, especially for like, you know, a darker skin tone. Um, Definitely. Yeah. You know, uh, beautiful. And also I think his restraint in the hair was well done. Um, I always struggle, like how much texture do you put in the hair? Um, and yeah. how much do you just like let it go? This one is really pretty. Perfect. Like right, right. Got that perfect balance. Yeah. Um, the other thing I was impressed with is, uh, when I first thought, I thought, you know, oh, he must have taken a uh, white cell and, and carved into it. But I didn't realize that he had actually um, pieced the body them. together. Yeah. yeah. And and these are all separate pieces. I was really impressed to see that. Um, and yeah, so, so you many know, different pieces in there. It's really, really creative. Yeah. And, and, you know, for me, it's not even like sculpting it. It's the hunting to find all the necessary pieces yeah. um, that I'm impressed <laughs> with. Um, but again, that face. Uh, he could he could just sell that as a a bust, and I mean he would do really well. Absolutely. Okay, this was a fun, but this I think was one of the first ones I saw uh, when when the competition was going. This is a, a white cell two, which again we didn't see a whole lot um, of those this time. 
Um, Jason so, X. Jason X. And so he had some really good details going into that, some fun musculature. He yeah. makes masks too. Um, he's definitely got a, I believe he just came out with the Jason X mask. Um, so definitely want to check that out on this page. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um, here's uh, Shimmering Ape. Now, when I saw this piece, I, I hadn't seen this at all for the whole oh competition. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and so when I opened up the file and saw this, my, my first reaction is, boom, follow this guy. Uh, so much detail. And I, I, I was I'm trying a to keep my food down. Yeah, I'm a Monkey King <laughs> fan myself. And so uh, this is like right into that mythology. I loved it. Um, and, and there's just so much to take in. Like, you know, uh, of course, you've got the original character here, but then you've got this additional character, and then you've got their their prey, this dead beast that's laying here that they seem to be cutting up. I mean, it's just, it's a beautiful piece. Paint so job. well done. Yeah, really paint. grosses me out, but that's that's what it takes. That's what it yeah. takes to win these contests, <laughs> well, <laughs> especially this year. I hope he puts it out as a uh, garage kit, because this would be a fun one to assemble and uh, paint, for sure. Looking for, for great things coming from Shimmering Ape, for sure. All right. And so uh, Studio Chai, or Cha, I don't know. Um, this was a fun piece. Like, and you were, you were telling me that this is uh, from a video game. Yeah, Octane from Apex Legends. Really well done. Great yeah. posing. And, and the paint job, it has that. You know, I, I'm not familiar with this video game, but the minute I saw it, I'm like, oh, that's, that's a video game. That's, it's got some uh, really clean paint job really fun highlights into the into the paint um just and yeah green really pops you could tell that they had a lot of fun posing their character too because when you when you go <laughs> yeah. through the pictures there's so many different uh versions of it i really love that um all right uh is it joe 13 joe 13 yeah that's joe correct. 13 yeah and this is another example of a, a great base job um some really fun elements i loved this uh kind of laser gun hand that they have going on here yeah um, really really cool the the metal paint job is just beautiful there's um, actually two characters here we got a big tex and jimmy jimmy's on the shoulder <laughs> nice now is this original character or is this a uh i believe video? so i believe it's an original character um but i mean you get to stare at this for all all you stare at this all day and still find new things about it yeah um, for sure, this is, I gotta say, I love all the narr narration that came from this uh, competition. There's a lot of great storytelling um, in sculpture. Absolutely. But speaking of that, here's a, another fun one. This is a Tree of, Tree of Woes design. Um, you had some, uh, here's an Immortal Joe little reference right here. <laughs> um, you have this kind of uh, koala bear. Uh, I loved the gest I mean, the uh, expression on his face. Uh, burning money and uh and a really nice uh base yeah sculpture the sculpted fur is really well done uh, a lot of detail on that and just like all the little things that you just start you know it's it's not uh an all at once kind of sculpture you get to really kind of take it all in uh with the uh the blade the fire i didn't even notice when in the first viewing that uh he's got some kind of like um leg brace going on yeah <laughs> um, sawed off shotgun you got the belt buckle the these bullets in his uh in his jacket i thought were really kind of a cool touch a lot of attention to detail really well done yeah and the the smoke of course really nice touch too uh dragon what drag store dragster pit? pit yeah dragster pit um uh, this one i you know i'm a he-man fan so i was so excited to see a little hordak <laughs> reference in here um and uh and i thought you know the the um the breathing apparatus was really nicely done um and this also oops i'm sorry this looks like it was a white cell two as well yeah i believe so this is actually his first white cell he's uh he's done and uh, he really really done it he I'm sorry <laughs> really well done yeah. i can't wait to see what he's got next yeah and again another great base speaking of great bases though this one is one of those ones i wish i could see it live watch out everybody yeah uh james Grolin art um and so much detail um definitely was, want to go to his page check it out um i mean 
you could stare at the space all day and day and find new things. Yeah, and this is one that I watched kind of evolve. Um, I loved seeing him create this mask that's on there. And if you if you get in close, you can see actually he created this gas mask and then he went through and punched a hole in it. So yeah. you can actually see inside <laughs> and realize that it's not just like poured resin on top of it. Um, one thing that I think surprised me about this piece was the fact that a lot of it he started with uh, hot glue. Yeah, that was yeah. That's kind of surprising. That, that was an interesting. That was an interesting way to attack it. So you know, he did wire with hot glue over it, and I don't know if he ended up sculpting over that or or not. But but I, it definitely yeah, I so. I it so. definitely worked in his uh, advantage. I mean, this is a beautiful piece. So much in this space. I also was impressed with the just the finish around the base. You know. Yeah, um, how he added the the resin as water that really brought it together. Yeah, and so dirty water too. It's like yeah, <laughs> and and all the you know, the uh, the oxygen tanks in the back, and then this crow, you know, was a nice little touch at the end. Um, really great, great piece. Uh, exciting to see uh, how this does in the competition. I think this one might go all the way. Yeah, and so here we have uh, Ian Raw, and Ian was interesting because. I don't think I've ever seen, I mean, other than maybe like, um, you know, a, a centaur piece, we've had a couple of those, but the fact that this one committed to uh, four feet on the ground, that was yeah, a, down that on was all great, fours. Yeah. And so, um, so I think it's so cool that you were able to take a, you know, to envision a standing figure, but then at the same time, cut it up and really, uh, completely commit. changed the posing yeah commit to it and uh and so it was interesting to see how the white cell was was altered here um here we go with dan kern uh this one is from uh the movie turbo kid and uh skeletron Skeletron. i love this um <laughs> this piece it had such great detail for the the costume um it you know doing something with the a lot of pads and a lot of layers in their clothing can be kind of difficult. And I think yeah. they did a great job on this. Also, yeah, you got the right thickness on all, all, all over. Yeah. And, uh, and again, also the treatment of the metal, giving it that kind of worn apocalyptic look. I think he did a great job on that. Nailed it. Yeah. It's a fun character. Uh, and great gesture. Uh, this one, again, Dennis plays tennis. Uh, knocked it out of the park when it comes to uh, his detail and uh, the likeness is unreal. Yeah. It's a beautiful piece of the, uh, from the movie district nine. Uh, I loved, you know, you've done guns. Uh, I've tried to stay away from them because the getting scale and then trying to keep all those details together. Those, that's, yeah. It can be a head. <laughs> yeah. And, and he's done a great job here with like really working that detail in um, and making it look nice. Also um, the arm came out really nicely done too. Yeah, mid transformation. It's he's really nailed this one. Yeah, and you know one of the things that are, it's really difficult is uh, when you're dealing with a face. It's hard enough to sculpt a face, but then when you have to sculpt a face that's asymmetrical, yeah, that that can be <laughs> kind of frustrating. Um, you'd think it'd be easy because you're like, oh, I don't have to match both sides, but 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 finding that balance um, can be real making, tough. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because you're especially when it's not painted your brain will really start to like mess with you. Cause it's like, this eye is too big. This eye is too small. Uh, <laughs> going back and forth. That's, that's a hard thing to, to kind of deal with. Yeah. You found that perfect balance. Yeah. And so that, that's the end of it for us. Um, so the competition is coming up pretty soon. Um, everyone should keep, keep their eye out on the Mr. White cell page to find out uh, what the brackets are going to be. And uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to casting my vote for a number of these pieces. Absolutely. You definitely want to check out everybody's uh, page. They got a lot more pictures, uh, great stories to go along with some of these pieces. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing who wins, but also uh, so impressed with how much everyone stepped it up this year. And uh, especially, you know, during this time of uh, crisis, you know, we're stuck at home. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of things to be battling against. Uh, and, and to see the kind of stuff that you guys put out was truly inspiring. Thanks a lot, Ryan, for joining me. Um, look forward to seeing everybody and uh, have a great week. You too. Take care. All right.